The key trends, I think, across governments around the world, and particularly in the, in the Asia-Pacific region, is an increased awareness of uh, the need to do more with less. There's a huge growth in demand for government services in the healthcare arena, in the welfare arena, in the transport, housing, you name it. Uh, but at the same time, there are increasing amounts of constraints on, on governments in terms of the funding that they can get. Governments are increasingly uh, keen to move towards lower climate impact technologies, um, such as solar or renewables, but they're also very in interested to explore the opportunities for things like carbon capture and sequestra sequestration. Governments uh, are increasingly looking for ways in which they can get more out of the same resources. And BCG has adapted the work that we originally did for our manufacturing clients in lean manufacturing uh, to apply it to government, and we call it lean productive government, recognising that this won't always be about reducing the numbers of jobs, but often it's about getting more output and more productive output out of the same number of employees as they meet increased demands uh, with limited resources. Changing demographics and, and changing distributions of population are a huge issue for governments. They create enormous pressures like uh, the need for new infrastructure, the need to really th rethink the whole model in which um, schooling and healthcare and other social services are delivered. Some of the most exciting work BCG is doing is, is in helping support real change in, uh, in public sector agencies. Uh, many of these agencies, um, such as schools or police, um, are characterised by a culture that's been quite resistant to change, and many of them have ageing workforces, uh, which are, you know, also been quite keen to th see things stay the way they've been. Uh, in Victoria, we developed uh, the concept of a performance and development culture, and got the minister to say that she believes all schools, all teachers deserve to work in schools that have a performance development culture and that all schools need to be accredited for having a performance development culture within four years. That was back in 2004 and now in 2009, 94% of Victorian schools have achieved accreditation for a performance and development culture. So governments are having to, not, I wouldn't say for the first time, but increasingly um, work out how they can get the most out of their existing resources and making sure that the resources are focused on the right priority areas. Uh, make sure that uh, there is real customer impact uh, from the work they're doing. 